News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, let's start with the Bronco forecast. You know, we've had some fabulous weather for games. I know that out at Albertson Stadium. But as we take a look at Saturday night, just kind of watch this forecast as we move through the week. The thing is about several storm systems as we're looking at the chance of showers, things can change. The one thing we do know, we will be seeing some showers here and there, and it's a possibility at this time. The timing puts it on Saturday night at 48 degrees at the beginning of the game specifically, maybe not so much in the second half. Winds will be northwest about 10 miles an hour. So with some of the showers and I know being out at some of the games, those showers make it kind of chilly out there, and especially when you have a temperature of 48 degrees. Well, we're experiencing a bit of that right now. As you look at our latest satellite here in Boise, you see the showers over here in portions of eastern Oregon, also here in Twin Falls. Eventually, this will come together. And twin for tonight, just watch the freeway a little bit. I think the, the uh, freeway is still a little bit too warm for snow to stick. But we really have the best chance of snow in this area right through here, just west of Twin Falls on the interstate, like very early tomorrow morning and it will likely be light along with that. We could be seeing a mixture of some showers right here in the Boise area up here toward Pendleton is where they're getting the heavier showers and you can see kind of the storm even along the west coast that's pushing through. It's not a dynamic storm, but one right out here to the west that we're watching is the one for Friday morning and that's the one that has some potential at this point. Uh, we're talking about the chance of snow very early, starting about five or six o'clock. Now this is Tuesday, so it's early to say, but we are say that what we are seeing is that there could be an early morning snow shower at that particular time. And so we'll keep you informed on that as we get closer to it. Now the rain amounts for tonight, it's showing 15 hundredths of an inch. That's along the foothills. I think most areas will be anywhere from five hundredths of an inch to about a tenth of an inch. There'll be a little more, as you notice there in Twin Falls. And then when it comes to snow with this storm system, uh, take a look at this two inches in McCall. That's by three o'clock tomorrow morning. Stanley with about three inches of snow possible. So we're going to call this anywhere from one to three inches. Council may see an inch. Same thing with Idaho Falls or excuse me, Idaho City and then Sun Valley with two inches. And there's Haley uh, with an inch of snow out of this. Probably the ultimate amounts will be up here toward McCall. Same thing with Sun Valley, where there could be about one to three inches. But you know, some of the mountain locations in higher elevations uh, could be seeing anywhere from about four to eight inches of snow on this. So our temperatures are coming down as you look at this for the Magic Valley. And there's the low for Twin Falls tomorrow morning down to 36. You see Haley tonight down to a 31, 29 for Sun Valley. So it's right for changeover to snow in the middle of the night. McCall tomorrow only 35 for the high and the low of 30. So it looks like it could even side with some snow there here in the valley were mainly rain, but there could be a little snow mixed in with it up until three, four o'clock in the morning. And then about noontime, there's a chance of another light shower moving through. See the temperatures at 45. Here's Thursday at 44, 44 for Friday. Watch Friday morning. There's a chance of a snow shower there. Time changes this weekend. We'll remind you of that. And next week, more showers, the possibility of snow in the valley. We'll be back with more in just a moment.